Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. As you can see, this is Acer Nitro 5, one of the most popular gaming laptop from Acer. And recently, I do have some issues with the keyboard. There was no any liquid damage, no any sort of accidental injury or anything. But the actual keyboard, when I type on it, it responds, it takes time and seems like sluggish, okay? So if you do have this sort of issue with this sort of uh, gaming laptop, then I would suggest you before you're planning to replace it, give it a kind of easy troubleshoot, okay? That could be some sort of very silly issues or some sort of easy repair, but it's always better before you replace or before you plan to replace the keyboard to give it a try. But remember, if any sort of liquid damage or anything, this process wouldn't help you. So this keyboard is not directly connected to the motherboard, I mean the flux. This model, what they done, they used a kind of little converter, which one uh, connected to the keyboard and this converter connected into the motherboard. Okay, I think that might be one of the reasons why it does plays like that. Regardless, what is behind, let's fix it. So first of all, I'm going to shut it down, fold the laptop, turn it over. And as you can see, this plate does have many screws, all the screws same. So we can use this Phillips screwdriver, flat opening tool, plastic is better. And the flat opening IC is more as well. And we do have some sort of paint brush and stuff like that to clean it in case if there is any dust or anything. All right. And also sometimes the Windows update, especially the graphics card driver, when it takes the update, it get this sort of problem, which is quite normal. So let's open up and check. You know, we're gonna check the connector if there is any loose or anything or any sort of changes, we'll disconnect it, we'll disconnect the battery as well, reconnect it, and that should resolve the issue if there is no any physical damage or anything. So it's pretty simple, we're gonna open up all the screws, we're gonna spudge it like that, you know, plastic is always better, especially when you open next to the hinges, we have to be very careful. Okay, we're gonna run through this spudger, and this side as well and make sure the surface is clean and flat. Otherwise, it's very easy to get damaged. Now, don't pull it all the way up. If you do, it's gonna break. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a gap in here. Okay. Yeah. And when you take out like that, it might damage, you know, a couple of plastic Bits, as you can see one of them broken but well, this is normal let's take this out and that's the back plate and now if you look at the actual motherboard and if you try to find the battery connector I can see the battery connector is not in right position okay but first of all let's disconnect it and then we're going to take this out. All right, so this is the actual keyboard flex goes to the converter right here. And then it switch into the main motherboard. So first of all, we need to remove it. I can see the alignment is correct, but it seems like the right hand side is a little bit upwards and gently we're going to take this out first make sure you peel off this fabric adhesive very gently and carefully if you pull it too fast then you might damage the actual buckle of this connector and I can see the alignment is not correct. It's not straight. Okay. So that's the little converter. When it get damaged, it gives the trouble to this actual 
keyboard system. Okay. If the keyboard doesn't respond at all, you might can change this part or you can just clean it and try it back. So clean this up first before you plug it in. And this machine is great. It has two RAM slot, two M.2 NVMe and one 2.5 inch SATA slot. We're going to reconnect it. First the converter, then it goes to the motherboard. Check the alignment gently. Close it. One by one. And open it all the way and then push it through. Check the white mark if this is straight. And now we can close it back and give it a try. It should resolve the issue. As I said, if liquid damage wouldn't help. Also, you can try if this process doesn't work. Also, you can give it a try by uninstalling any Windows update. Okay. Or graphics card update. So as you can see when I type it does work it's pretty smooth and all the keys are functional now it resolved the issue thanks for watching hope see you in the next one bye for now